Alright, welcome everybody to my Geralt of Rivia uh, outfit creation tutorial. Um, first of all, obviously this is not what Geralt of Rivia looks like. It's not any of my character models for him. Um, I'm actually in the middle of making somebody else. So uh, I, I, I didn't want to change that up. However, I have gotten a few requests uh, as for an outfit tutorial for, for Geralt, the one I've used in my... Uh, actual character creation videos. He's a, it's a pretty straightforward outfit, it's really simple. Um, so this should be a short video, but let's get to it. Uh, just going with the shirts. Got, got nothing of the other stuff. Got no eyewear, no masks, no bandana, no neckwear, coats, ponchos, or vests. Uh, so just going straight to the shirts. And that is a side collar shirt, simple black. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, and with that, you do want to modify it, at least if you want it to look like the way I have it here. Uh, you do want to modify it to have the shirt collar open and the shirt sleeves rolled up. Then again, um, just zipping right down to the pants because there's no suspenders, gauntlets. Uh, rings, belts, buckles, weapon equipment, all that stuff. So straight down to the pants. And once I find them, there we go. The Martindale pants, uh, it's the ones that basically look solid black, have a gray section around the waist. Um, yeah, I mean they, they look leathery, uh, but they aren't the, the leather pants that you can also buy. Um, these, the Martindale pants just look best, in my opinion. Um, then we're going with the, down to the boots. Like I said, really simple, uh, really simple outfit, only three parts to it. Now honestly, with the, the boots, there, there's a whole lot of options you can go. Uh, again, if you're just going with the simple black boots, uh, there are so many options that work for it. Um, I do go with ones that are, are nice and clean as opposed to ones that are scuffed up or dirty. I just think that um, Geralt, Geralt would take care of his stuff. So, again, um, I, I will get to the ones that I personally prefer, but uh, worn roper boots, stovepipe square toe, um... Workman boots. I don't have that in, in all black, but um, as long as they're boots that are on the outside of the pants, all black, um, you know, go up to his knees. Like, I think most anything would work, actually. As you can see, like, there, none of these are really bad choices. Um, as long as as long as you stay with those uh, within those confines, it's just all black goes up to the goes up to the knee. Um, well, I don't really care for the lace up look, but again, it's personal choice. Um, I, however, went with the preacher boots. Again, all black has a little touch of silver on there, which I I personally preferred. It goes with the. Uh, the gray on the pants or on the waist. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's that's really it, guys. Um, I don't have boots of all, I don't have black boots in all of uh, all the different varieties, or I'd show you more, but um, really, it's, it's a simple outfit. It's easy to do. Uh, it's not that expensive, and if you're wandering around as Geralt of Rivia, um, you got it made. It's, it's pretty simple. Alright, thanks for listening.